Hey, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Sin and Sacrifice, the fifth DLC in the Deadlock series. Resurrection. Now, what am I doing? So I'm playing back through the campaign now again in Admiral mode, the most hardest mode, and seeing how I fare against the Cylon threat. So this is the fourth mission, Cobol Form. Let's get some context. After what happened at Palace, Ministry thinks Lachesis will take another shot at ecology-scale warfare. And that scenario falls way outside of anyone's know-how around here. So, we're gonna recruit the best in the field. You'll have heard of Piotr Magnus, but maybe not as much about his employer. The Aspis Foundation holds the only dataset that survived the original Cobalt forming operations. They run a tight interference on anyone trying to revive the market. So, our boy Piotr is the head of the class when it comes to knowing how to make a planet habitable. Dr. Magnus is currently at Aquaria for some academic summit. Nash wants to bring him in and see if he's got any ideas on where Lachesis will hit next. We probably don't need to jump the whole fleet for this, but hey, nothing like a personal Battlestar escort to convince the civvies to play along. So there you have it, it's a rescue mission. We're gonna jump in, we're gonna get the guy out, we're gonna fly away. Well, that's the plan. So I've got my fleet group jumping in. No dramas there. Good old Cottle. Yes, there are Cylons there. And we're after Dr. Magnus. Dr. Magnus is the premier authority on terraforming in the 12 colonies. And he's on that station for what is apparently, and I say apparently, a conference. Yes, so we're going to rock in, full Battlestar Escort with our BSG-75 battle group, launch the Raptors with the Marines, get to that station, board the station, hold off the Cylons, get Dr. Magnus out. Once we've got Dr. Magnus out, destroy all the Cylons, Foxtrot Oscar. Dead simple. So say we all get it in the bag. Now, as I'm playing it on Admiral, um, do you know, I haven't found it that difficult. Like I said in the last video that I did, which was, um, you know, I, I gave me a bit of problems, that phallus did, phallus, um, which is a medical transport protection mission. Four or five goes had a go at doing that until I managed to get my fleet right. Now, as you can see what I've got here, I've got an Atlas carrier to give me air superiority. I've got the Battlestar Galactica. I've got a an Artemis old style Battlestar. Um, so two squadrons there, three, four squadrons on the Galactica, three squadrons in the Atlas. Uh, we've got an Adamant Frigate. That's got a squadron in there as well of Vipers. And I've got a Janus or Janus missile boat. No other word for it. It's a missile boat. It's got three missile batteries on it. I like those ships. Not very big on guns. Hold them back. They can't go straight into battle like what you could do with a, a Ranger, which is probably an updated version of the Janus. Um, or Janus. It's got some weapons, light turrets. No good head-to-head -head with anything else. Its job, stay way back, fire its missiles off, and get on with it that way. So we've got some Cerebus Cylons in play. We're going to engage the Galactica and the Minotaur towards that plus the adamant raptors are on their way towards the station taking a bit of it on the old adamant that frigate gonna repair that in engineering guns are going off good stuff see if we can take him out other cylons haven't really revealed themselves apart from that little stinker in the middle look but that's okay because with the amount of firepower we've got going on against that Cerebus, the Galacticus guns should take that out as well. Now we've also got missiles. Let's get some missiles in the air as well. Using good use of the focus fire. Got all our planes in the air. We're going to move our support ship just out of the way. We're going to use the Atlas guns to start lashing that Cylon. Missiles going in as well. See if you can take him out. 
Another Cylon ship gone. So Marines are on the station. Can't find anybody. Everyone's in hiding. Well, no surprise there. The Cylons have been in there and have taken them out for their Cylon human experiments. No doubt. Laying some fire down against the other Cylon main ship. Yes, Commander. We've lost an adamant, but it's done its job. It's got in there. As the vanguard of the entire fleet and the fastest of the ships that we've got. It's gone in there. It's revealed Cylons. Let's get some missiles on the Raptors. Used against some of the Cylon ships. And then use our Artemis Battlestar on the left hand side. And the Yanis. And the Atlas. And what's remaining of our fighter screen against the other Cylon threat. Now another Cylon's revealed itself. It's only a smaller ship. I'm not too panicking about that. We can take those out, no problem. But a concentrated fire, two turns, and they'll be absolute toast. Now if you like what you're seeing so far, and I hope you do, because I have a lot of work with this Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Resurrection, hit that notification icon as well. Um, and a like and subscribe on YouTube goes a long way. Interest in this has not been as much as what it has been with Sin and Sacrifice, I have to, have to say. Um, I'm not sure whether people think, oh, this is another Battlestar Galactica game. And because the show isn't on television mainstream, although it is on sci-fi at the moment in the UK, I'm not sure there's been an awful lot of interest. Either that or my videos are just rubbish. Let me know in the comments. I'd really like to know. Hey, because um, I want to make changes for you and what changes would be different and what you, the viewing public, would actually like. Anyway, there you go. Back to the original format. Raiders are in the air. Artemis is bearing down. Let's get that Cylon ship taken out. Full speed ahead. Getting some big guns. The door knockers in at the Artemis. Firing out against that Cylon ship. In the meantime, we're just taking out all the small ones. An update from the Marines. Dr. Magnus is dead. But it does look like he died resisting. Good old Dr. Magnus. The battle rages on. Still haven't got any dramas. It, that station's going to take quite a few hits. We've taken out the main players already um, in regards to the Cylon presence. Oh, our fleet is bearing down them at two points. Let's see what our Raptor squadron can do. And that's the good thing about this game, really, is making full use of all the ships that you've got given to you. Raptors, like I've said before in my other videos, they are a godsend. More so than Vipers. No, I know that's going to cause a little bit of discussion, but to be perfectly honest, it does. And now it's available on Xbox and PS4. What we've got to think about is, well, how are the Xbox and PS4 players handling the new control interface of multi-select? All questions I have. Of course, I'm playing this on the PC. Which, to be fair, does need a, a processor upgrade. Everything else is perfectly fine. Processors. You know, that fourth generation i7, it can still cut it. But you know, there are better chips out there. So, back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. A few Talons remaining. One's just bought it. An update from the Sergeant. Hostage Rescue, all the Theologians. Let's just take these ships out and then get on to the next mission. 
So a good mission. Um, quite an easy mission, I thought, really. Biden, you've got enough firepower in situ. And certainly, going, th having gone through the campaign the first time, um, I think has provided me with a pretty good insight, not only as to a what's going to happen and where the Cylons are going to jump in, and perhaps that needs randomization as well in the missions um, for any future updates. But, you know, deployment of the fleet, splitting it in two, making sure there's a battle star or a heavy hitter in both sides of the, of the assault group. Smaller Cylon ships sneaking in under the radar. That Cerebus is taking a hell of a pounding from us. Raptor Squadron is still docked to the hull. We'll swing the Artemis around so its broadside guns can hit that Cerebus. Missiles going off now. Let's take out the rest of those Cylons and get on with it. This part of the mission really dragging on, I think, to be fair. But more to do, I think, probably with my elevation towards the rest of the ships. It's one Cylon ship gone, the smaller ship. Minotaur still lashing. That other Cylon ship. Going to swing people a background. Get our Battlestar, the Selene. Engaging, get the Minotaur engaging. End turn. Right, everything's focused. That Ceratus is down to 50 points of hell. Not going to let up on that now, going to continue to lash it. Changing our rotation of the um, Artemis class base Battlestar. Against a Ceratus class base star, probably the, the smallest base star they've got. Revan taking a bit of a pounding now. That'll be the Cerat Cer Cerebus going, the Cylon Cerebus. A little bit of orientation before they start to get towards the station and destroy it. The Talon's been destroyed. All weapons heading towards that Revenant now. So yeah, like I say, a pretty good mission. Um, a bit of a filler mission, really. I mean, we got there. There was no story context because the guy had died in the resistance from the Cylon occupation of that station. Died fighting the Cylons. Um, no real information coming out of it. And that's it. Mission over. All Cylon contacts are clear. And it's a media thing. They've got to get home and deliver some good news where they defeated the Cylons back to the Quorum um, and the 12 colonies. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at the FMV sequence. I'm not going to wrap it all the way through that because what's the point of that? Thanks very much for watching. So say we all and all that. This was Cobalt Form, which is the fourth mission that I'm currently playing on Admiral of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Resurrection. Great DLC. Marking Season 2 and the 5th DLC of the Deadlock series. Check out the next video in the series. Check out the back catalogue. Thanks for watching and like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Give us the hell